Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jason or Jenna right there. Throw a grenade, stick a guy with it, and get a hit marker, dude. Like, come on, man. We're like 15 points in the, or 15 seconds of the game, and I'm getting hit markers with grenades, literally by sticking a guy with it. Like, come on, dude. I thought that was some bad luck, but surprisingly, surprisingly, I get 101 kills with a gun that I didn't even think I was gonna use in the beta, and that's the grease gun. And I tell you what, man, the backpack in this game was real. Man, halfway through this game, you're gonna see me, we're losing by like 150 points. So like, to be honest with you guys, I wasn't even thinking about 100 kills this game. I wasn't, because the whole weekend, like this is this was my goal, to try to get 100 kills this weekend. And, ooh, get turned off for that mortar strike. But I did not, I was not expecting it to be this game at all. This is also my second game using the grease gun too, because I thought this gun was just not the greatest, right? Because I used this gun back at Sledgehammer a couple weeks ago, and after the fir very first game of me using it, I think even after halfway through the first game that I was using it, I took it off and put on the uh, default class STG because this gun right here just was not the greatest. But man, this is my second favorite gun in the game right now outside the STG. So if you guys are looking for a gun to use, STG or this gun right here. This gun with the silencer, the grip, and the uh, steady aim attack. Hip firing in this game, by the way, is really, really good. Right here, one off paratroopers and die to a guy that snuck up behind me. But... I, you know, I, I think I could have turned on him. If I if I, if I would have heard footsteps, I think I could have turned on him. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you guys are struggling with this game, uh, this gun right here, really, really good, or the STG. And if you're struggling to get a lot of kills, this this score streak setup right here is really, really good. The UAV, the Mortar Strike, and the Paratroopers, really, really nice. Um, and this is actually the only 100 plus I was searching on YouTube last night. I just, I could not find any 100 kill games on World War II outside of the war game modes. This might even be world's first. Can we get a like for that? Can we get a like for potentially world's first 100 plus in World War II? I mean, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not claiming that it is. I'm saying potentially it could be. And leave a comment down below, guys, and let me know. Like, I want to know if you guys have used the grease gun and, and what you guys think about it. But... Getting back to the score streaks for a second here, the paratroopers after the buff dude are nice now. They are really, really good. So if you guys are looking for, you know, if, if you guys gave the, the paratroopers a chance last weekend and you're like, man, these just are not that good and you took them off, put them back on because, the, man, they're averaging like 8 to 10 kills. This is actually a really good spawn trap to keep them in right here because they just constantly just blindlessly run in this room or to the hard point you can get some really really nice kill feeds and some really really nice score streaks um this guy thinks he's gonna give me but i juke him Ooh. that guy right there was the most revenge killing person the entire game look at the range on the same just mapping people that guy right there was just uh, constantly just coming back after me just trying to kill me but anyway so what i want to talk to you guys about in this video uh is actually a response to a good buddy of mine prestigious key and uh, to several people on Twitter that are talking about the domination score at 100 points, okay? Two big points. First of all, nobody complained about this in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3. Okay, look at the range on this thing, man. This is annihilating people with this gun. But nobody complained about it back in the day in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3. And score streaks in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 were a thousand times better than they are in this game here. Like, I could understand if score streaks in this game were like amazing like ridiculous it, actually even then i really couldn't no i don't understand it actually because you know if, if you if you reduce the points down to 50 like okay everyone that played domination last weekend please leave a comment down below and let me know did you guys have fun because i didn't i thought it was boring like i thought domination was extremely boring last weekend when you have 100 points and you're constantly getting score streaks. Like, first of all, it should not take me 25 kills in a row to get a set of paratroopers. Even if, and the argument is, we'll get some flag caps, get some capture kills, blah, 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 blah. Well, even then, it still takes you, like, 10 plus kills. Or, no, not even, like, 15 to 20 kills to get paratroopers at that point. Like, that's crazy. It, it, and then it would take you 7 kills to get a UAV. Like, it just makes no sense because, honestly, like... Like, it just slows the pace of the game down tremendously. Like, last weekend, like, I was averaging, like, 40 kills in Domination. Getting one set of streaks, two sets of streaks. And just, like, it just slows the pace of the game down so much. Like, there's no reason. There's no reason. Right there, get that four-piece with that Mortar Strike. And I could die one off Paratroopers again. But there is no reason why Domination score should be any less than 100 points. Like, because every single game mode, hardpoint, you know, um, TDM, like, all 100 points, right? So, like, 
if you reduce the domination, you reduce in every game mode, right? Like it should be 50 points across the board, right? Like that, then that, that, that's essentially what you're saying. But no, like you, you shouldn't. Like it should universally be 100 points in domination. I don't understand why people are complaining about it. Nobody complained about it back in the day. And the only argument people are using is because nobody's going for the flag caps because they're useless. Well, at that point, increase the flag caps. So like, two, you know, back in Black Ops 2, flag caps were 200 points, and every kill you got on the flags was 200 points. So just increase it to that then. That solves the whole issue right there. Just make it like Black Ops 2. Like, if you make it like Black Ops 2, nobody will complain. Um, or nobody should complain because nobody complained back in the day. But anyway, so that's just want to quickly talk about domination there. And then the second thing I want to talk about is the um the the weapon balancing in this game the smgs okay so everyone's complaining that smgs are like overpowered and they should be nerfed and all this other stuff like dude no 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 do not nerf the smgs like honestly like you want smgs to be your most dominant class in the game first of all i don't even think they're the most dominant class right but you want them to be your most dominant class because it speeds up the pace of the game. Like, Call of Duty is all about having fun, right? Nobody has fun when everyone's just camping and head glitching. You guys remember Call of Duty Ghosts? The game that everyone just played passive and head glitched and camped and everything like that? Like, no, but, like, tons of people thought that was the most boring Call of Duty ever. Because everyone just played so passively in the game because of the time to kill, right? So, in this game, it's like, uh, not the time to kill, but if you, if you take the SMGs and you nerf them and... You know, it, more more people are going to camp. More people are going to play passive, and it slows the pace of the game down. But you don't want that. You want... Remember back in Black Ops 2, like, at the beginning of the game, or the first six months of the game, when, like, the PDW and the MSMC and the Scorpion and the MP7 were all, like, your best weapons in the game? Like, the pace of the game was so fast-paced. Modern Warfare 3, you had the MP7, you had the P90, you had the PP90. You know, like, overall, like, a really, really fast-paced game. Same with Modern Warfare 2. Same with Black Ops 1, you had the AK-74U. Like, that game was... Like, all four of those games are arguably the best Call of Duties ever made, and surprisingly enough, the SMGs were one of the best classes in the game, if not the best class in the game, at some point in the game. So, you, like, you want that because it speeds up the pace of the game. Get jump shot it, man. Scuff controller coming in handy in this game, I'll tell you guys that. But, and the other thing is, first of all, I don't even think they are the best class in the game because of the fact that, the, the, like, the only reason that people are using the SMGs, in my opinion, is because you can put a suppressor on them. You know, the, the, the whole way you fix this problem is you just allow suppressors on all the other guns. Like, it actually makes me quite upset that I can't use a suppressor on my assault rifles, you know? I think the assault rifles, to be honest with you, are the best class in this game, but that's just me. Anyway, guys, we win 250 to 240. You're going to see me at the end of this game just tearing them up because I I, I was just I was trying so hard to get this 100 kills. But anyway, guys, so I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for new, get this nice little four-piece final kill cam here. And hopefully we can drop another 100 plus this weekend. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.